Hey, welcome back everyone. Check this out. It's a new tool for our lathe. So this is the Supernova 2. It's a wood turning chuck. And I was researching ways that I could turn bowls and knobs and things on the, on the treadle lathe and this is, this is what had the best reviews. So this is the drive chuck that I've been using on my drive shaft of the treadle lathe. And this actually replaces it. Drive chuck goes on the shaft, the drive shaft like that, and then you tighten it down with the Allen bolt. The Supernova 2 actually comes with an adapter that fits the same size drive shaft. My drive shaft is 5 eighths of an inch and this adapter actually fits that perfectly. All I have to do is just tighten down this Allen bolt. This Allen bolt secures the adapter to the shaft and then the drive chuck just screws right onto that. So the Supernova 2 has a, has a small Allen bolt here that also keeps it from it keeps it secured to the adapter. So you just go ahead and tighten that down once you have it screwed onto the adapter. So this is a really cool addition to the lathe because it'll let me tighten down to multiple different size spindles. This is typically used for turning bowls. So the base of the bowl would fit into this this area here and then you would tighten it down by closing it in on the piece of wood or stock. So I've got a small piece of stock here I've been practicing with and this is just a, uh, a piece of oak that I turned down to about a two inch spindle and it just slides right in. Let me open it up a little bit. It just slides right in there and then I can tighten down the jaws around the spindle. So this holds that piece of stock in there really securely without having to have the tail stock attached. So the nice thing about using this is I can get inside, like if I'm turning a bowl, I can dig out the center of the stock or I can round over into the midline or the center of the stock. So I'm not having to uh, work around the whole length of the stock. I can come all the way around like this. This drive shaft is actually really heavy too. I would assume it weighs several pounds and once this thing gets turning, man, it really turns and just keeps turning even when I'm not stepping on the treadle pedal. Really carries a lot of momentum. Time out for a minute. I gotta get this terminology right. So I was doing this edit and I was like, good grief, I messed up every term in this video. So let's get this all so sorted out here. Okay, let's go through this real quick. We got the drive shaft, the drive spur, which is what we've been using in the past videos to turn, turn stock. And we're replacing the drive spur with the drive chuck. And that's what we're demonstrating today. Now we can get back to the video. I think this tool will open up some new possibilities for the lathe. So I'll let you guys know how I like this uh, tool. I'll put a link in the description so you know, you know where I got it and how much it cost. But I really think this is going to open up a lot of new opportunities for the treadle lathe. If you're new to the channel, be sure you check out the link in the description to the 
build video on the treadle lathe. This is one of my favorite projects that I've completed. If you like these shop updates, be sure to hit the like button and uh, let me know what you think about the new addition to the treadle lathe. If you want to see new videos, be sure to hit the bell notification as well. Well, I'm going to keep playing around with this drive chuck and I'll see you guys in the next video.